Hi guys, Wargan Snarf here. Today we're starting a new game. As you can see, Dark Souls Remastered. Dark Souls is a great game for anyone who has had the privilege of playing through it. Uh, I have played, I've played the uh, Dark Souls uh, Never Die Edition, something, Die Edition, not Never Die. But yeah, so I played through Dark Souls once before. This will be my second playthrough. And I am very excited to play through it again. So just go through this quickly. That seems okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so organ staff shockingly okay set spell pass nada gift none physique average commoner uh jelly where can have gold hair that's just that's just blonde, right? Uh, silver will be a silver head fox, and I think that is it. Yes, I'm not big on character creation. In my the age place. of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog, a land of grey crags arch trees and everlasting dragons but then there was fire and with fire came disparity heat and cold life and death and of course Light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito. The first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. 
and amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. And so it begins, Northern Undead Asylum. Ooh, that cutscene is it's pretty special. Right, so it has been quite a while since I played a Dark Souls game, so let's uh, we'll read all these little tutorial messages. Make sure we make sure we know what we're doing. Die. How did someone die? Yeah. What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay. Wait, that guy looked pretty armored. Feed me your souls. Ah, yes. Yeah, big, uh, he's like a greater demon guy over there. Nice. Take one. Easy. Wrong attack. So for anyone that's uh that hasn't really played Dark Souls or doesn't know much about it, the bars on the left. Uh I think the numbers is humanity, if I remember correctly. Which is some weird resource, which I'll remember how that actually works when we uh, start getting it again. I think I can make myself, turn myself back from undead into, like, human with it. Hence humanity, I guess. Uh, the red bird, obviously, health, and then the green bird, you can see going down, stamina. The stamina is a pretty important mechanic in Dark Souls, and I think Souls-like games in general. Like, just dodging, sprinting, attacking, blocking, pretty much everything movement and combat related uses up stamina. It's, a, it's like a very important uh, sort of combat resource that you got to manage as you're as you're fighting stuff. Rest of the bonfire to recover HP. It looks like someone died here as well. Oh, oh. Light the bonfire. And rest up on fire. So yeah, generally, um, generally the, uh, the way Dark Souls works is you gather souls, we can't actually spend them yet. And then you can usually spend the souls at a fire pit to like upgrade your character and that sort of stuff. But if you die, you drop your souls. And then if you die before being able to collect your souls again, 
them souls are gone. Gone, gone, gone. Which is where a lot of the frustration can come in Dark Souls. So you see that number one right, 60. That's my uh, 60 souls I've got at the moment. I did it. Good job, you friend. I'm not, okay, I'm not just going to watch it that. Break some. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. It... So, pretty sure. Do we actually want to fight this guy right now? Pretty sure that's a no. Oh, that's, that's a... Yeah, I remember. That's a big no. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we ain't, we ain't fighting. We ain't fighting that guy yet. I think not for not for a long while, maybe. Oh, the other thing, uh, resting at bonfires respawns all the all the enemies. There are like certain kind of unique. There are certain like kind of unique enemies which will respawn. I mean, that won't respawn even, but, ow, just took that to the face. Got a nice arrow in my chest now. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so. Go to equipment, get our shield. I don't think we have anything else on it. What's this? Yeah, so the dark side is what actually makes it so we can come back, I believe. You ever try to look up the story for Dark Souls? I, things, I think things get more confusing. Um, oh wait, I'm still on the menu. Yeah, so there's no like pause to stop the game or anything. How do I switch weapon? That's two-handed. Ah, right on the D-pad. There we go, now I've got my club, got my shield. Ah, yeah, oh yeah, there's change weapons. Eesh. Get some. That's 20 so, oh, why is... <laughs> These are usually, or very often, these lead on to boss fight areas. That so seems like we're okay for now. There's someone down there. I don't really like it. Alright, so there's a soul up there. Up over there. I get into there. I have to say, this looks. The remastered. This is my first time playing remastered Dark Souls, and it looks really nice. Oh, God! Down. Well, you. Let's see if I can get the backstab in. Uh, yeah. Get wrecked. But you actually get more souls, or kind of getting in critical kind of kills. Because you can parry as well, but parrying. There's some crazy timing to parrying. Jeez, I'm almost dead already. That, that damn boulder. Oh, his attacks probably also went through my block a bit. Aha! So we got, um... Now we can heal. Keep our souls. And go back. Round two. Yeah, you also find it often throughout the game you can find things like that where it's like you unlock a door for be like a shortcut back to the last bonfire. Let's see if I can nope. Oh god, that's the dangerous attack. Let's see if I can parry it. Yeah. Really weird timing for it. It's kind of like you gotta do it. Like you don't do it as it hits you, you do it just before the swing kind of starts. I, I don't know. Like it. It's it's a really hard one to time. Be really dangerous to try and do it. Uh, can I get? No, can't get up there right now. Nope. 
bad. Am I being dumb? I guess I am being dumb. So there should be another way. Yeah, there should be another way around to get over there later. Okay, that's not a way down. What what did we come all the way around here for then? The hell? This game. Oh. Oh, and he's gone. So, we have... Hmm. Oh, I guess we're going through... Go through this door again. Maybe we can find another way... Ah. Well, we're off to a good start, people. I know what I'm doing. Pro game. Pro gamer. Oh, the boulder that almost killed me. Smash through the wall. And this is the guy that dropped the corpse down to us, oh, it looks you. like. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Of course. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, yes. and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. So we now have our essentially our health potion, which gets refilled at the bonfire. Yeah, <laughs> as it says. I kind of wonder what happens if we just kill him. Do we get his stuff? I mean, he's good. It's good to turn anyway. I farewell. I would hate to harm you up, and thank you. No, I don't. Uh, I'll leave him to it. He got us out. I'm not gonna batter him to death with my crappy club. It'll probably take a while. Oh, so that was him in there. I thought. <laughs> what the hell was that? The hell? So confused. Yes, sir. Um, so I believe we have the key for this now. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Got to check them corners as you. Check them corners as you go through places. Oh, how did I just try and kick? I'm so good at this game. Oh. Plunging attack while falling. I'll be behind an enemy to critical hit. Yeah. Parry. Yeah. Wait, what's um? Oh yeah. Uh, L. 
L2 in my case, using the PS4 controller to parry and then R1 to press. Let's see if we can do that again. Oh, no, no. Climbing is too hard for that. Oh, God. I almost messed that up. Right, S is fast. Kick him while well, he's got his shield up. Batter him. Batter him. Batter him. Yeah. Play the game with a great finesse. Toggle. Okay. Through we go. Oh, right. Well, let's get him. Oh, God. Oh, now everything's messed up. Get it. It's quite uh, easy. Oh, oh! Thankfully, my little wooden shield actually blocks that. I did not dodge that though. S is fast. Go 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 go. On oh, big guy. Where you go? You ain't nothing tough. No, oh, I dodged too early. Wait for his next swim before healing. Alright, let's go. That was a dodge. Is it? Oh, God, okay, it's going again. Go for the uh, power hits. It's going to move back from this. I don't know how it looks like it has a bit of reach on it. Pumble whip. Well, it's a dodge again. I say fuck up. A bit too late. Oh! <laughs> Just need to not get hit by one more. Esther's fast gonna hit him. Here we go. Get him! Wasn't the prettiest, but we did it. Still, still hear the one below. Did it? Yes, you did, friend. So yeah, that kind of enemy is the sort that won't be spawned. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, all good. And we, I don't think we really want to lose our souls at this point. Uh. Okay, so we've got that extra key. what the key was for. So there's still... There's still an area to go. There was that bit of stairs that we couldn't get up which had... so on it. I'm not sure if that's something we can actually get yet though. Uh... Let's check my items quick. See, uh, key items. So we've used that. We've used that. Yeah, we've used that. So I don't think there's any other. We haven't unlocked any other way to get to other areas yet. Okay. So for now, we head on. Otherwise, I'll be roaming around this place for ages. As interesting as that might seem. Oh look, I'll take a pass for now. <laughs> it's really worrying all these bloodstains that are around here. What are people dying to? Be wary of it. Oh yeah. Oh, it's it's not here at the moment, I don't think. That's somewhere I can go. Hmm. 
No. No, I do not think it is. I don't want to lose my 2,000 souls. I can't remember if that's a lot. It's probably not. But for me right now, it probably is. Farewell. Undead Northern Asylum. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Yes. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. The Lordran. By Giant Raven. So I think for now, I usually go like down a dexterity route, route, but just maybe having a bit more health and stamina would be good. I can't remember how to get the, oh yeah, here we go, so we've got HP, stamina. Okay, so yeah, I think we'll go for some. How many souls we got? Okay, yeah. Some, some health and some stamina, I think, now. She'll do. I haven't looked up any sort of builds or anything. Anything like that. Usually I just kind of go with it. There's. There's a hundred percent better ways of playing these out than the way I play them. But it's just it's just not the same to just look up the best way to do everything, you know. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first, but there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Bring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead? <laughs> yeah, well, the guy that saved us gave, him, gave us his dying wish. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow, but who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> I think this guy's lost it a bit, you know. Uh, has he got much Ooh, else to say? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity 
coveting thy neighbor is only human after all. <laughs> oh dear. What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. <laughs> uh, I think that's always. Oh, that's oh, all no. we need. Another. Well, listen carefully then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but the lift is broken. You'll have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burrow through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burg, within the plague-infested blight town. But I oh. die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> Fucking blight town. I do not like blight town. Bloody hell, what is it now? You ask too many questions. Uh, I think. Mm -hmm. What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. Yeah. So what when? Mm -hmm. I'm not. Up yeah. So what when? When they've actually run out of dialogue, they usually just repeat the same thing. Um. Yes, because there aren't really that many. Like there aren't that many NPCs in the game. So it's usually worth actually. Talking to them, talking through the stuff, see what they got to say. Sorry, if I dragged on a little bit. Undead. Parry. Oh, we did it. Oh, look, my health bar actually notice the, noticeably bigger. Can we do it again? No, no, no. Uh, need to watch out for fire. Okay, but let's, let's stop trying that. <laughs> Get some. <laughs> oh. oh. Come over here. Here we go. Block. Oh. oh. That was good timing. So we're going to go for the tried old tactic of sneaky run round him backstab. Never saw it coming. You already had enough of you. Get off. <laughs> oh, God. strike. Right. Go back down. There was something to pick up down there. Oh, and something to pick up over there. Can I can I make this jump? Oh, it's risky. It's risky. It's it's fine. God. Why is it <laughs> It's horrible. Wait, is he just gonna is is he just gonna go? <laughs> Ring of sacrifice. Okay, I think that is um like it breaks but brings you back. Lose nothing upon death but brings you back, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure last time I done a playthrough, I just basically held on to that the entire time because I didn't want to. I never wanted to waste it, so I just never ended up using it. There you go, safe. Right, actually, so we've done the done the initial part. We've done a bit of dialogue. I, sorry, it's a bit of a bit of a slow going start, but we're kind of getting over the 30 minute mark here, so I'm gonna stop it here. We just rest up. Got any anything we can level at the moment? No, not yet. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and leave a comment 
any any uh, constructive criticism is greatly appreciated since this is still all very new to me. And I will... Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.